everybody and welcome to my channel every day with Jackie in today's video I know you have already seen the title this is going to be part two dose of my Sephora haul now I've already talked to you about part one and I will have that video leaked linked above but that was for my in-store shopping only and today's video is part two of the things that I purchased online so if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, and I know you are, then stay tuned. Don't worry about the background. Y'all know I film all over this house trying to find the perfect lighting. So I hope this shows up good for you. So again, in part one of my in-store purchases, when I finished filming that video, I kept thinking I had more products. And I kept saying, did I show everything? And when I went to the restroom, or to the bathroom, I noticed that I had this liquid lipstick sitting on my vanity. And I had forgot to mention it in my in-store purchases. So I thought I would um, introduce that product to you first, and then we'll talk about all the things that I purchased online. So that um, product that I had left out of my in-store purchases was my Fenty Beauty Lil Stunna Liquid Lip Paint. And it's such a pretty color. And I don't know how I left that out of the bag. But this is in the color Underdog. Underdog. And again, this is by Fenty Beauty. And I think it's such a pretty color. And it goes perfectly with what I have on today. But it, anyway, let me show you what it, the doe foot looks like. You know, Fenty Beauty always has these unique applicators. And again, this is the shade Underdog. And I'm going to swatch it. And none of these products are first impressions or anything, guys. I have filmed this video so many times because I'm, I film on my camera. No, no, I film on my cell phone and it's been acting up. So I have recorded this video probably four times, no lie. So this is what Underdog looks like. And again, this is by Fenty Beauty. And it's a gorgeous shade. Hey guys, again, this is a uh, Lil Stunna Mini Long Wear Fluid Lip Color. And it is um, in the shade Underdog, which they describe as a deep burgundy. And this lipstick does have a matte finish. And it says that it is long wearing. So I did purchase this lipstick for $15. And I am really looking forward to using it. I, you know, have been saving it before I tested it out because I wanted to first put it in the video before I started wearing any of the products. So the next thing that I purchased, the rest of the items that I'm going to show you are the things that I purchased online. So this was one of my perks that I uh, picked up and this is by Laneige and this is a water sleeping mask. This is what it looks like. And all of it, all that it says here is that it's just a moisturizing mask. So um, it doesn't give you much details about your perks. So I am looking forward to trying this out. I really didn't realize it was a mask when I first put it in my car. And I thought it was just a moisturizer. So knowing that it's a mask and the weather is starting to get really cold here, I'm excited to use it. My next thing that I picked up was a sample perfume, and this is by Nomad by Chloe. And I have spritzed this, you know, it's just a little sampler size. I have spritzed this, and it smells super good, guys. This is really a good scent. And I have heard a lot about it on YouTube, so I just wanted to test it out, and when I saw it pop up as one of the little samples that I could get, I instantly put it in my cart. So I'm looking forward to using that. And the next product that I got is by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And this is just their mini eye primer. 
This is the packaging on the box. And again, it's by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And I picked this up for $13. And the reason I wanted to get this is because I wanted to try to do some cut creases in my eye looks. I wanted to practice that. And so I wanted to get something that was really a full coverage um, eye primer, something that was really opaque. And when I see people using this on YouTube, this fits the bill. And I know that I did try it on my arm in a swatch. Now, Cause like I said, this is nothing's new. I have filmed this so many times, but when this uh, does dry down, it's very opaque looking. When it goes on, it kind of is like a um, tan color, just what it looks like initially. I don't know if you can tell that, but um, when I blend it out, it's very opaque looking. And um, it's very smooth. So I did notice that first. That's one of the first things I noticed right off the bat. And it says that this is the travel size. This is water resistant. And it says it's a light colored base that creates the perfect canvas for matte and shimmer shadows and pressed pigments. So I didn't know it was waterproof, but um, it dries down nicely. And it really is very smooth. And never mind my voice, y'all. I have still been struggling to get well. So it's kind of shaky. Okay, the next thing that I picked up is by Bobbi Brown. And this is the Vitamin en Enriched Face Base. Let me see if I can pull that up to tell you about it. And I've always wanted to... I think I've tried a Bobbi Brown mascara before, but I've always wanted to try some of her products. And I saw a lot of people talking about this face primer. So again, I thought I would try it. Now this is in the trial size for $20. And what it says about this, it says it's a primer with moisturizing benefits for smooth makeup application. I don't know if you guys can see this against my, it's just a basic bottle. Um, so it says it's for normal combination of oily skin. Um, skin care concerns are dryness, fine lines and wrinkles, and oiliness. And this is a formula that's combined, that combines the moisturizing power of shea butter with vitamins B, C, and E. And it says grapefruit and geranium fragrances leave a light uplifting scent on skin. With daily use, skin looks and feels its best. So I definitely, when I um, took the top off, I could definitely smell the grapefruit and geranium in it. So, it de oh, it has, it really has a refreshing scent. Um, I noticed that it absorbs into the skin very quickly. And it feels like a very rich moisturizing primer. So I am looking forward to using this because like I said, when I've seen people use this on their channel, um, they always have good things to say about it. So I just wanted to test it out. The next thing that I picked up, you guys, is something that's not new by any means. However, <laughs> have you just ever had a product that you really felt drawn to and you don't pick it up but every time you see it or every time you walk by it you just feel drawn to that product well that was me with this next product which is a eyeshadow palette and y'all I'm not getting any more palettes I'm I'm eyeshadow palette overload so anyway this that was how I felt with this product I just kept wanting to pick it up I would go and swatch it and look at it but I never would get it so finally like I said, I went ahead and picked it up. It's not one of the newest or latest eyeshadow palettes, but I just like it. So this is um, by Natasha Denona. And this is her mini um, sunset palette. 
and it's already dirty because I tried to swatch it like however many times I had tried to record this video. So I'm just like over it. This is what the palette looks like. I think it's so pretty. And I just, every time I saw it in the store, I just, I was so drawn to it that I finally just went ahead and picked it up. Now what it says, oh, it has the shade names on the back. And it's just a nice little compact palette. Um, it says that this, and it says that this is perfect. Um, well, it didn't say it. I said, I think it's perfect for traveling. You can just pop this in your bag and go. Um, this costs $25 and it, um, it says guava is a dirty peach matte. Apollo is a brick, a bright brick metallic. Dirty Mars is a dirty terracotta matte. Sunbeam is a rich bronze metallic and Halo is a warm champagne metallic. So again, has metallics and mattes and this is just a very pretty palette in my opinion and I can't wait to use it. The next thing that I picked up is by Laneige and it's called Kiss Me at Midnight. And this is um, a three piece lip sleeping mask. And I'm not sure about where you are, but right here in Texas, you know, we've had a lot of cold nights or a lot of cold days and my lips are just getting really dry and I always use a lip balm, but I feel like it, the lip balm isn't even working right now. So this again retail for $28. And it says it's a sweet midnight treat for your lips. Um, indulge yourself in this lip sleeping mask trio featuring two limited editions. And these are the two limited editions. And it comes with a it says a berry mix complex, rich in vitamin C and antioxidants and moisture wrap technology, locks in moisture for long lasting hydration. So this one right here, let's see if I can get it out. This is the sleeping mask and berry scent or flavor. And these two are the limited editions. This one is called Mint Choco like chocolate, mint choco. And this one is in sweet candy. So I'm glad I got to finally show you this so I can start using this. I've been wanting to dive in. My lips are dry as we speak. And my next items are from Bite Beauty. And this is the packaging for the Bite Beauty lipsticks. And you know, guys, I had just really become very attached to Bite Beauty. Their lipstick quality is so moisturizing, so silky. I really like it. And these are the four lipsticks that came in the set. Boy, here are the four. And I'll swatch these for you. The writing is so small. Let me bring this one up so I can tell you about it. And this package cost me $21. And let's see. This shade that I'm going to swatch first is called Cherry Truffle. I swatched these so much I barely have any lipstick left. And again, this one is Cherry Truffle. And I'm going to swatch it right under Underdog. And that's Cherry Truffle. The next shade is called Ruby Bonbon. Bon, and it's described as a rosy pink. Cherry Ruffle is described as a spiced red. Let's 
And this is, can you see it? It's right here. The next shade that I'm going to swatch is called Coco Bite. And this is the packaging on this. And this is what it looks like. Now, some of these I definitely will have to, and that's it right there. Some of them I probably will definitely have to use with the lip liner, or it'd be cute just to pop it in the center of your lips. And again, that was in the shade Coco Bite. And the last one is called Jujube. And again, this is what good Jujube looks like. And that's the swatch right here. So these are all four of my Bite Beauty lipsticks. And I can't wait to start using them. My um, Bite Beauty lipsticks that I got from the friends and family Sephora sale, I absolutely love them and I use them all the time. And my next product came in this cute little packaging I thought was so nice. And I just wanted to have something from the brand to experience what the brand was like because everybody talks about it on YouTube. So this is what it is. Do you recognize this? This is by Charlotte Tilsbury. I know you guys know who that is. And I bought her little lipsticks. And let me see if I can pull up her information on these. Tillsbury. These retail for $25. And it's part of the Hot Lips 2 mini lip set. And I'm going to swatch these lipsticks for you and hope that I can get the names correct. This first shade that I want to swatch, oh, so hard to see. Well, let me show you the lipsticks because they're super cute. They come in this little, what kind of print? Are these little lips on here? Or is this just like a leopard print or something? I think it's just a leopard print. Really can't see them. Oh, I think this one is Viva La Vergara. I think this is what this one is. When I tell you that this writing is so small. Yes, I think this is what it is. And this is what the shade looks like. Very pretty. And this is it swatched. Mm, smells good. The next shade is called JK Magic. And this is what this shade looks like. Definitely would do a lip liner with this one. Or again, that pop in the center. Let me swatch it for you. And this is swatch right here. It's JK Magic. And so the last shade has to be Amazing Amal. Yes, I can see it. Amazing them all. And this is what this shade looks like. Let me swatch that. That's amazing them all right here. 
And again, these mini lip, lip sets by Charlotte Tillsbury. Tilbury. I keep saying Tills. Tilbury. And then I have one final product. And this is by Mark Jacobs. I just wanted to try something from his brand because I had never had anything from his. I think this packaging is super cute. And again, he also has the shade names on the back. And this packaging has a little glitter. And you can kind of, it's, it's not, you can't feel the glitter, but it's, it's the little rough texture. So, I mean, I guess you can feel the sparkle of it. It's very nice. Nice packaging. But, let's see how it looks on the inside. Of course, you know, I already know, because I've already filmed this 50 million times. He has beautiful packaging, guys. Wait till you see this. You see how it sparkles? And here are the shade names on the back. And then he has, you know, his name, Mark Jacobs, right here. And I love the little button closure. Very nice packaging. So the shade names are Rock Out, Fill, The Rhythm, Glittering, Glit I'm sorry, Glittering, The Stage, and In Dust, and Tonight. And then we have this gorgeous mirror mirror right here it goes from side to side and then he has let's see his name over the shades and these are the shades in his palette So, this one is Tonight, In Dust, I mean In Stardust, The Stage, Glittering, The Rhythm, Fill, and Rock Out. Now, I just have to be honest and say, to me, this palette looked a little dif different online. This palette retails for $49.50. And I have to be honest, I am not loving it. <laughs> when I looked at it originally, I was like, I think this looked a little different online. And I still kind of think it does. Even when I zoom in, I don't know, may maybe it doesn't. Maybe I just, I don't like, like, I honestly don't like this shade. This is not impressive to me at all. I thought it was more of a silver and it kind of looks like a kind of like a sea foam. I thought this shade was I don't know. I just I just don't like the palette. I like this color, of course. I love this color. It looks like it has the rich black, but I don't use very I don't use black very often in my makeup looks. I think the, this is a wonderful transition shade. I guess what's thawing off the palette for me that I really don't like are these two shades. And of course, I'm not going to do really anything with this. I'm really not into too many cool tone shadows. So I don't know. Maybe I fooled myself and I thought I liked it in the picture. But when I opened this palette up, I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> so keep it at 100. I am not keeping it. I do not like it, so I'm definitely not going to swatch it. I'm trying to be very careful with it because I probably will be taking this back to Sephora in the morning. So, that's all the things that I purchased you guys online. I'm very happy with everything that I have, um, with the exception of the Marc Jacobs palette. I know he does have another palette that I, from the looks of it, it looks like something that will be right up my alley. So I may consider picking that up or I just may take a chill on the palettes because like I said, I don't plan on buying any more palettes anytime soon. 
So, um, again, I do have my Bite Beauty lipsticks that you know I absolutely love. I love the formula. Um, if you're interested in the Marc Jacobs palette, um, it says it's limited edition. So, if you're interested in it, you shouldn't wait. It has velvet, satin, silk, and lame shades. Um, and, again, it retails for $49.50. I think the colors just look so much richer in the picture than they actually are coming off. But um, anyway, happy with everything that I picked up and I can't wait to put my products to use. So I'm interested in knowing, did you shop to sell? And if so, what products did you pick up? Please leave me a comment below and let me know. And um, somebody had left me a comment and told me that they were interested in me doing a um, look with the products that I picked up from Sephora. So I'm probably gonna combine some of my makeup purchases from the friends and family sales since I still have two palettes to test out from that. And I don't even remember what all I purchased. So I'm probably just going to com com combine all of my Sephora uh, purchases and make just one full look. And let me know if that's something that you would still like to see. I heard from one person. So just let me know how you feel about that. And again, let me know what you purchased from the Sephora sale. I'm interested in knowing. So that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you um, for always leaving me such nice comments. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, share the channel. Ring the bell so you know every time I upload a video. And as always, you're always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. Thank you so much, you guys, and everyone have a wonderful evening. Good night.